the crochet scrunchie, we will need a crochet hook. In my case, it's four millimeters, a hair tie or hair band, and piece of scrap yarn or some yarn leftovers you have. In my case, this is 100% silk, and you see in one strand it will be too thin. So what I do, first of all, I just fold it, triple fold it, like this. This thickness is just right for my crochet hook. And every time I need some more working yarn, I find this loop at the end and I pull through the new tripled strand from the working ball. So in this case, this connection will be invisible. And this is what you do if, for example, you think the yarn is too thin. We start with a slip knot. Let's make a loop like this. And pull the another loop through the first loop. In my case, I will start with 14 chain stitches. One, two, three, four, I have 14, chain 14, and now I take my hairband and we will knitting, we will be crocheting around this hairband and we will need to close for crochet in the round. Find the first chain and just with the slip knot, pull through both loops. This yarn chain we will hide on the way. I chain two, and next will be the half double crochet. So this pattern will be only from double crochet. For double crochet, yarn over, we found the next chain stitch, pull it through. Now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the crochet hook. Again, yarn over, we find our next chain stitch. Pull the yarn over, we have a yarn over, and pull through all three stitches on the hook. I will show you one more time. Yarn over, find the next chain, yarn over, and pull through all three and as you see my yarn is about to finish this triple I just find this end loop and I pull pull out the next bit of tripled yarn like this so super easy you see, you don't see any connection at the end. In this way, yarn over, find the next chain,
Yeah, in my case, you see, um, it's very stranded. It will be a little bit difficult to crochet, but if you use the normal yarn, then you will not have so much trouble to look after all these strands. I just want to use this leftovers. Uh, it's 100% silk and I bought it like in one strand. It was in a cone and um, I had to just um, put all the strands together to get the desired thickness of yarn. And we continue all the round the first row. I will see you when I will be at the end. Now comes the interesting part. This the beginning. Later we will just hide. Remember we did this chain two. We leave them as they are. We need to look this third chain when actually we started a row you see this is uh, both legs of the stitch normally we would go all right under both or only front or only back but in order to get the pattern I have on my crochet scrunchie we will look at this one ridge just right behind you see i do yarn over you will see them clear you see here comes this braid of chain you see and just right behind you will see this mm, the third no, like it will look like the third chain you see they're like a braid but we will need, uh, we will crochet only into these. How does it look? Very simple. This chain two we don't touch. We look here. We did our yarn over. And we put the crochet hook under here. And we do like we did before, the half double crochet. Next, yarn over, look for the next. Pull the loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. This way, we will get this chain in front of See, it will stick out. I will do some more. Find the next. Yarn over. Pull. We always have double crochet, but just we put the crochet hook in the back, really back loop. I will show you one more time. Yarn over. You see, already you can see the braid is sticking out. So this is what we want. And it will be easy to notice this, the back loop behind this chain. Put the crochet hook. Yarn over. And the next we will be just crocheting into spiral all the way around. I'm about to finish the round two. And uh, as you see, we will have this front chain, but we need to put our crochet hook behind these bumps here. Yarn over. We start the row number three. And we find this back loop. Pull the yarn through, yarn over, and we just continue this way all around the band.
and once you work at least three four rows you will see how this uh, knit like pattern comes out that it's crochet and this how it turns out now we will have to crochet in the length around the band well at least when you stretch it should be um, the circum reference should be filling all the spaces so you don't see the hairband so my hair scrunch is about to finish it looks like this you can have a test if you put it together does it stretch enough and you could crochet some more rows but i like how it looks already so i will finish off for finishing off make sure uh, that everything is lined up properly and you will not have a twist we will finish off also using crochet hook this is our last our last stitch we made and we turn to the beginning and we need to find as I said before line it properly to find the corresponding stitch on the other side this will be this beginning chain here you see the loops one two three and so on we will this is our last stitch we will just join again in the round and we do a slip stitch now from this ready already from our end part we will put the crochet hook exactly like before into this back loop and find the next loop from the beginning chain make yarn over and we just pull through all three loops on the hook again we find the next loop and we just continue all around like this yarn over and we pull through all three loops one more time next stitch the beginning yarn over pull through again next stitch yarn over and we are pulling through all this you see we are just recreating our nice braid stitches and the close-up and the join will be invisible now we are at the last to close this hole there are a few more stitches left and very last one and that's it cut the yarn tail we can hide it inside and our hair scrunchie <laughs>